34, and we're back on this Friday morning. The East Side 10K happening on the streets of East Vancouver uh, this weekend, so you may notice a lot of runners. You will be one of them. This is Lani Marchand. Uh, I want to just run over some facts about you here, okay? Canada's fastest ever in women's marathon running, the Canadian record holder in the marathon and half marathon, and the first Canadian to run both the 10,000 meter and the marathon at the 2016 Olympics. That's a pretty impressive resume you've got building there for yourself. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you. So, uh, for for people who are taking part in this run this weekend, uh, for some of these people, this will be their first time doing a 10K. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice do you have for someone doing a 10K for the first time like this one? Uh, don't do anything different than you've done in training. Uh, tomorrow morning you're going to be nervous, uh, but eat the same foods you've been eating in any of your training runs. Uh, make sure you set two alarms because you know if you're up late tonight because you're nervous you might sleep through and then just go out there and have fun uh, there's nothing about tomorrow that's any different than any training day just you're out there testing your abilities to see how good you can be on that day uh, everybody has different goals from the elites like me down to your you know couch to 5k couch to 10k runners you all signed up for this race for a different reason and go out there and explore so I obviously would definitely be the couch candidate for this one <laughs> now I've tried running before full disclosure it's not pretty <laughs> it's not good I've given up like after two days of trying to do the running thing it's just not for me but for someone watching this right now that maybe wants to try doing this say a year from now what should that person on the couch be doing when it comes to their training for something like this I actually have a whole new perspective on this after uh, having to take some time off in May I came from a very sedentary month and I that was only one month and I had to build back up into running so I have a new appreciation for people who have never run before and um, the best advice I can give is carve out 20 or 30 minutes of your day that's your time um, I did that in law school when I transitioned from varsity athlete to just a student and wanted to keep running I carved out an hour a day uh, for beginners carve out 20 to 30 minutes where it's your time whether you're using it to run or go to the gym or shut the door and have a bubble bath away from your kids just take that time for you and just try to dedicate more of that time to training and then over the next six months build that up to an hour build that up to more days of the week and before before you know it, it will be next September and you'll have signed up and you'll be out there with your friends and family cheering you on. You were talking to me in the green room before we came out here about the potential pain that comes with doing a 10K. Why do runners put themselves through this type of, of challenge, this physical challenge, if it hurts so much and it's not enjoyable? Because it, it only, it actually hurts worse standing on the start line waiting for the gun. That's the worst part of it. And then once you're out there, there'll be parts of the race where it burns, and it burns for us at the top level just as it does for the beginners. Uh, but battling through that and pushing through that, I think every person can appreciate setting a goal and working so hard to achieve it and understanding that no goal is easy. And getting to the finish line of any race is going to have its ups and downs, and I think that's something that every individual takes pride in and gets excited about. Well, if you uh, want to take part or go, you can't, I guess, cheer on the runners, I guess, happening. It's uh, the East Side 10K run happening on the streets of East Vancouver tomorrow morning. Good luck to you and everyone taking part. Oh, thank you. Should be fun. Weather should be good for that, too.